uh, coffee in the large cups and uh, some brandy liqueur. Yes, Miss Armstrong. Oh, and would you have them put some candles on the cake I brought? Yes, Miss Armstrong. And also, when the waiter brings the cake in, have the orchestra play Happy Birthday. Yes, Miss. Is it your birthday? Well, no, not exactly. It's Mrs. Brennan's birthday. But at least her birthday was a couple of weeks ago, and we decided to celebrate it tonight. You see? Yes, Miss. It's perfectly clear. Hello? Hello, Eddie. Where's Annie? She's not coming. Not coming? No, she changed her mind. Said she got so worn out getting ready for the party, she wouldn't be able to enjoy it. Of course, that's not her real reason. No, she's just feeling low. And every time she thinks about leaving the Narcissus tomorrow night for keeps, she gets lower. Maybe it's that. Maybe she's just being stubborn. What do you mean? Dad says if Annie could only remember what she knows about Dry Dock, she could help him. Well, I hardly think Annie will strain her mind trying to help your father. She won't even get mad enough to help herself. That's it. What? You know how mad she always gets when somebody feels sorry for her? Yeah. Well, what would happen if she thought thousands, maybe millions of people were feeling sorry for her? She'd probably explode, but how are you going to do it? Waiter, bring me a telephone, please. Yes, ma'am. Have you ever heard Rex Alcott on the air? Yeah. Well, this is what we'll do. 